Hello everybody, Zach Hater here. I'm here to help with humanity's shift in consciousness. In this video, I want to talk about some channeled, channeled information that I came across this year. Now, I listened to a few different channeled sources who, over the years, I've come to respect the viewpoint of. Of course, never putting that viewpoint above my own, always realizing my own truth first and foremost, and questioning everything that I come across in terms of information. But one thing that was shared earlier this year is the idea of December 21st, 2020, being a point of no return a culmination point of sorts, where each of us as individuals will be collectively boarding our trains based on the frequency and alignments that we are in at that point and moving into 2021. And what I've found recently for myself personally is I was made aware when I had a one-to-one -one channeling session of how much inner work I really still needed to do in order to reach the kind of potential in my life that I really want to reach. And so I went about doing this inner work, doing this childhood mending that I felt would, over the past years, I felt life would naturally bring that stuff up for me to process just through synchronicity and yes certain aspects of myself have been faced and addressed over this time there was also certain aspects of myself that really needed conscious focused attention in order to overcome and so for the past weeks that's what I've been doing I've been going head first into these childhood memories. Correcting them one by one, bringing in a lot of love energy to substitute out the heaviness, to keep my vibration high. But I've had this idea in my head, and this is a problem with predictions, is you get these ideas in your head about when these things are going to occur in, in our collective timelines, and it can create anxiety if you let it. I mean, I love the idea of the future. I love looking at future timelines. It's very much of who I am. It's, I love that aspect, time travel, all of that. And I don't mean to scare anybody when I say about, oh, the point of no return at the end of this year. because that's not going to help. And this is what I found within myself is, I was like, right, I need to face these inner parts of myself that haven't had a chance to fully be faced up until now. And there was an aspect of myself that was almost doing so from a point of need, a point of fear. Like if you don't do this now, you're going to miss a lot of opportunities in your life. And so I found myself almost trying to rush my healing process. Like, right, that memory's been sorted. I can now move on to the next one, bring in more love energy and keep going like that. But what I've found is that there needs to be a balance. There needs to be that kind of gentleness that needs to be applied with this process. There needs to be that feminine aspect within myself that 
is nurturing and there for me. Because the masculine aspect of myself is fully there. The feminine aspect of myself, of course, is fully there as well. But it's finding that balance. It's so important. And this comes back to the idea of the law of attraction or the law of attraction and repulsion because that's what it is. It's that kind of need, that almost desperate wanting to get to this new version of myself that is so much more higher vibrational in every aspect and living that life that's more higher vibrational in every aspect. That kind of I have a time limit, I've got until the end of the year, I must do it now. It's actually pushed me, in a way, further away from realising and actualising this new vibration of myself. So that's how it works. If you feel like you need something so desperately, you're actually going to push it away. Whereas if you can come into vibrational harmony and alignment with that desire you have, almost feeling like you have it already and enjoying having it already and feeling into that in every way possible, that's what's going to actualize it in your reality. And I have a lot of time on my hands now. I got made redundant from my day job a month ago. And I've now found myself a freelance video editing job where I'm for the first time, first time in my life 100% self-employed. And it's great. I'm able to, in the middle of a Friday afternoon, come out into a beautiful field like this and shoot a video that might inspire someone and help someone. I'm able to set my own hours and I'm able to heal I'm able to do this in amending in my own time. And I love that. So what's the rush now? What's the pressure? I realized the pressure I was creating for myself. And that pressure was the exact thing that was pushing me further away from where I wanted to be. <laughs> so I'm at peace now. I'm completely at peace and it's so liberating. <laughs> it really is. It's fantastic. Because I want to help more people. I want to have an impact. I want to be that influencer, that leader, who I naturally am. But more realized, more actualized. Making more videos like this having no resistance to it, having no insecurity in doing so. And a big part of that is just making these, of course, and doing this inner work. And the more I do this inner work, the more I'm coming into alignment with that aspect of myself, and it's beautiful. <laughs> it's fantastic. And I wish the same for everybody else. Because we can all do this inner work, and we can all come into alignment with what brings us joy and those parts of ourselves that we would love to live but we're afraid to because we've got those emotions and thus belief systems as well tied in there that make us feel less than, that make us feel like we can't, that make us feel fear. So, be gentle, be gentle on oneself, the masculine will want to drive forwards, 
the feminine sometimes has that gentle reminder that you need to sometimes slow down in order to speed up. You need to slow down and receive before you can speed up and provide in that way. Thank you so much for watching. So much love to you all. Keep doing that work. Keep going. Take it seriously. But be kind and loving and gentle to yourself at the same time. And bring as much love, cultivate as much love within yourself as you possibly can each and every day. Things will only get better. They might get difficult again, but you're always going to be going and leveling up and moving forwards.